Hi friends, in today's video we are going to see the topic of how to compare the various BOM versions because in Dynamics 365 you know that we can create multiple BOM estimation versions and activate it but at any point in time how do we know that the BOM version whichever we are using is the best possible BOM version to go ahead based on the terms of quantity or in terms of price how do we decide it? So because in the standard, if you go to the BOM version page system, does not provide you the facility to do that. So how we can do that? That's what we are going to see in today's video. So in order to do that, first of all, I need to explain you some of the basics about the BOM, vers BOM versions. So for against any product, you can create bill of materials. So if you go to product information management, and uh, bill of materials formula and bill of materials you can create multiple bomb estimation versions by clicking on new so you can add the name you can add the line and header you can also do it at the release product level and uh, you can add the list of uh, bomb bill of material lines which are applicable and uh, add the per series so we are not getting into detail about how to create a bomb probably we will cover it during our uh, bomb bomb session probably in our product information management session but in today's video we are going to see primarily what whatever the bomb versions which are created in in any of your item let's say i have already created for the sake of this video i have already created an item called breaking system and i have added multiple items within that bomb so i'm just uh, if I go to engineer in the action pen, if I go to engineer section on bomb, then uh, you can see there are multiple bomb versions which are already created, so which are approved, and uh, you can have an active, you can have a bomb which is the active status. So this is for site six, this is for site two. So you can create multiple bomb versions, right? So, but how do I know which is the best, uh, best possible or viable bomb version for me to go ahead? So I need to compare it, right? But this screen does not facilitate that option so it's not easy for me to compare it what are the items how much quantity and uh, what is the price so those informations are not available and it is not easy for me to compare the bomb versions so in order to do that if you go to inventory management module and then uh, just collapse this all and then you go to inquiries and reports there is an option called bomb comparison this will be this functionality will be highly helpful if you have multiple bomb versions which you want to compare it you can also do it across the products which is also possible and uh, currently for the sake of this video i'm going to do a comparison for the tracking system which i have created so i select the product and then uh, once i select the product system it will automatically fetch all the bomb versions which are which are available under that particular product so i will select the bomb version so you can do you can select up to five bomb estimation versions and then compare it so i'm going to compare the bomb estimation versions four bomb estimation versions whichever i have because i need to know which is the correct estimation version with which i need to go ahead for approval and then activate it right so so this functionality will be highly helpful in real-time business scenarios where you have multiple commercials in case of manufacturing industries like automobile industry or pharma industry where you have multiple commercials which are getting updated maybe go on a quarterly basis or some cases monthly basis so you need to compare the bomb versions right so that is where this functionality comes in handy so once you can select the product and then the bomb versions then click on compare on the top so once you click on compare on the top so system automatically fetches maybe i'll collapse this parameter and also this bomb version so that we get a clear view so you can see uh, the systems automatically fetch the cost actually it has fetched the cost based on the parameter which we have selected in the cost type so it has brought the purchase price so let's say if i go to break cable so the spelling as i have mentioned the wrong spelling so pardon me um, so if i go to break cable so inside the break cable system has taken the purchase price so under the purchase first step what are the prices available it has taken it or else if i have that is another option 
by which I can capture the cost also. Cost in the sense, in the, if you come to manage in one tree, so you manage cost. So manage cost, the price is zero here. I'm going to put it as 19.99. Okay. So this is the date of price which uh, gets updated. So I will save this. So the date of price got revised. So 19.99 is the current today's price. So I'll go back, go back again. So now if I change this to inventory cost and then click on compare, you can see the cost price of the break cable got updated to 19.99. So based on the cost type selected over there in the parameter, the cost price is changed. Right? So maybe break disk is now showing as zero because the cost price in the inventory cost may, may be in the release product might be zero. That's the reason it is showing as zero to us so by this way i will be able to compare the costing and quantity which is involved across multiple bomb versions so i as a user i will get an idea okay by, by going ahead with the bomb version one it is so the cost price is price is zero that's why it is showing zero over there i'll put it as 12.22 then click on save so I hit the save button the date of the price in which we have updated gets modified so once again i will go back and then click on compare now you can see the price is updated over here so the price is basically fresh from our release product right so using this bomb comparison option i will be able to compare the quantities which are applicable from multiple bomb estimation versions even if i want i can go to the specific bomb versions and then check the quantity and other details if required and uh, this will be easy for the user to understand okay um, again this also shows the individual cost of the items and the overall bomb quantity for each and every item let's say for this version i'm considering three items to create three bearings to create the product but in case of this version there is only one bearing which is actually required and uh, in this estimation version break disk is required but the other version does not so it will be easy for the business users to take any business specific decisions to go ahead with any specific bombs by using the bomb comparison also one more option is to print this bomb version bomb comparison page so if you can make a copy of this you will be able to quickly view and compare the estimation versions along with the price so this will give you a better view to the users let's say if using the bomb estimation version one the price is at 164.90 and by using the bomb estimation version two the price is this so basically i can make some strategic decisions based on going ahead with specific bombs for creating the same item right so it will be highly helpful for the users and you can export this to in in excel or word wherever it is required and you can uh, do your further analysis so this is an important functionality in dynamics 365 how to compare the bomb versions so make use of this functionality in your real-time scenarios or whenever you are having discussions with your clients and uh, hope you had a nice learning today and uh, i will see you soon in another topic please do follow my profile thank you Thank <laughs> you.